Today I'd like to share with you a delicious dish made with cabbage. It's called stuffed cabbage rolls. Do you have a similar dish in your country? Prepare the leaves by cutting the center of the cabbage in this way. This time we prepare the four leaves. Rinse well and place in a heat proof bowl. Then cook in the microwave. You can of course boil them in a pot. Cook for about 3 minutes. When the cabbage is tender, let it cool. Add onions to the meat to be placed inside the cabbage. So chop them up. Place onions and meat in the bowl. The most common way to prepare this dish in Japan is to combine ground pork and ground beef. My family has been to chicken lately, so I'm going to use ground chicken today. Use your favorite kind of meat. Add salt and pepper. Extra black pepper. Sugar. Chicken stock powder. Sake. And soy sauce. When using pork or beef, nutmeg would be good addition. Mix well. Stir the mixture like this to make sure the mixture is sticky. While the cabbage leaves are cooling, make the side dishes. Make a salad with potatoes. Once cut into pieces this large, boil them in a pot. Cut cucumber into thin slices with a slicer. It's recommended to cut it very thinly for best taste. Sprinkle salt. Mix well and wait until the cucumbers are moistened. Today we add mentaiko, spicy koro. It was frozen and left to thaw at room temperature for a bit. Mentaiko and potatoes are perfect match. Drain the water from the potatoes and mash them lightly. Do not crush all of them today, but just enough to leave a little shape. You can enjoy the texture of the potatoes. Don't forget to include butter. Mix in the butter while the potatoes are warm. And let cool slightly before mixing in the other ingredients. Once the cucumbers have wilted, you can squeeze out the water as they are. But this time, because the core roll is salty, rinse off the saltiness from the cucumbers. Squeeze the rinsed cucumbers well with your hands. Lightly wipe off the moisture again with a paper towel. I thought the amount of cold roll was a bit much, so I added a little at a time. Taste to see what the saltiness is like. It looked like I could add a little more, so I put it all in. Add a little mayonnaise for extra flavor. Please make it with Japanese mayonnaise. When the cabbage has cooled, wrap the meat. Cut the thick part of the core like this to make it thinner. This will make it easier to wrap. Place the meat in the front and roll it up like this. Today we are using 200 grams of ground meat. We will use it divided into 4 equal parts. If you put it in the pot with the seam side down, the meat inside will not come out. You could cut the cabbage leaves in half and reduce the amount of meat to make smaller sizes. Put water in the pot. Add consomme. Substitute your favorite stock powder or bouillon paste. Add ketchup. 
I think it will be delicious with canned tomatoes. Add Worcestershire sauce. Mirin. Sugar. And butter. Mix well. And when the butter is melted, add the cabbage rolls. Don't forget to put the seam side down. Once the water comes to boil, reduce the heat to low. Simmer for 20 minutes. If you want the cabbage to be super soft and melty, cook it longer. Occasionally, I'll cover them with soup. The last dish is daikon steak. It's very healthy, yet very filling, and can be served with rice or as a snack. Peel and cut the daikon into pieces about this thick. The sweets are made for easy cooking and for the sauce to easily get mixed with it. Make cuts on both sides of the daikon. Place in a heatproof bowl and cook in microwave for 4 minutes. Make the steak sauce. Put soy sauce. Mirin. Sake. Sugar and oyster sauce. Mix well. Garlic is another important ingredient. Slice and remove the core. I tried one of the cabbage rolls to soften it a bit more. Cook it an additional bit. It seems safe to turn it over after this point. Heat oil and garlic in a fry pan. Warm over low heat to make garlic chips. Remove from what is done, being careful not to burn it too much. There is a little too much oil. So I'll remove some before cooking the daikon. Make sure that the oil is distributed to all the daikon. Cook over high heat to brown. Since it's softened to some extent in the microwave, it takes less time to cook in a fry pan. When nicely browned and softened, add the sauce. I made a little too much sauce, so I left some. Toss the daikon well with the sauce. Turn off the heat and add a little butter. When the butter is well mixed in, it's ready to serve. Don't forget to sprinkle the daikon sticks with garlic chips when serving. They are best when eaten together. Pour plenty of broth over the cabbage. Top with parsley. The chicken cabbage rolls were really good and the seasoning was great. Please give it a try. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel. If you are already a subscriber and would like to support our channel, please join our membership. Membership feedback will be reflected in content creation. See you in the next video.